Welcome to the Lean Out Your Business podcast, a show dedicated to helping entrepreneurs accelerate business growth and simplify success. I'm your host, Krista Grasso, and I've been working with businesses for more than two decades to help them lean out and optimize what's working while eliminating anything that's not adding value. So if you are ready to get more time back in your day, more profit in your business, and to do business differently, growing and scaling on your terms, let's dive into today's episode. Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of the Lean Out Your Business podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about what it really takes to be able to change your schedule in your business. With summer right around the corner, I know so many people want to be reducing their work schedule, either taking time for vacation or maybe doing a three-day weekend or even ending their days a little bit earlier. I know for myself, I happen to live out in the middle of the woods and I so enjoy time in the pool, but because of where I live, I only have sun on my pool until 4 p.m. Eastern. So while I don't actually work less in the summer, I do shift my schedule in the summer and I create a big old block of time in the afternoons where I do not take meetings and I do not work because I want to spend time outside enjoying the pool and actually being able to soak up the beautiful weather while I have it here in Connecticut. And I know for many of my clients and maybe you, there's a shift to your schedule in some respect. So how do you actually set yourself up to be able to do that? And we've been talking about that a little bit in some prior episodes, but today I wanted to dive into this with an example. So I had a client that I was working with a few years back. And when she came to me, she was just so frustrated because she wanted to reduce how much she was working. She wanted to be able to take Fridays off and she wanted to be able to protect her mornings to be able to do the work on her business instead of having her day back to back filled with client stuff where she always felt like she was stuck in the business. And she knows that that's how I have my week structured. So she came to me to work with me on it. And what she shared with me in the beginning was something that I see so commonly. She had worked with another coach and she had worked with somebody and had shared the same desire with this person that she wanted to shift her schedule and she wanted to take Fridays off. And what the other person did, it frustrates me when I see people do this because I think their intention is positive, but the impact and the result is not. And what she did was she said to her, okay, great. You don't work Fridays anymore. As of this Friday, you no longer work Fridays. And what ended up happening for my client was she was excited about it in the moment. She was elated about it in the moment on the call. Like, yes, this is amazing. I no longer work Fridays. And then the call ended and she looked at her schedule and she looked at her commitments and she got this overwhelming feeling of stress and of disappointment because she was letting her coach down. Her coach said, you no longer work Fridays. And all of a sudden she looked at her schedule and realized, you know what? I can't actually do that this Friday. I have client things. I have things I'm committed to this Friday. And then she looked out at her schedule again and said, and I have things next Friday and the Friday after that and the Friday after that. And when she looked at her schedule, she also realized this is eight hours of work that all of a sudden I'm not going to be able to do. How am I going to get it all done? Do I have to hire somebody? And I think that that coach did her such a disservice because instead of supporting her and helping her create a plan and look at, okay, great, you want to shift your schedule. How can we support you to be able to reduce your workload so you don't have this eight solid hours of work that you still need to do, right? She didn't help her to lean anything out in her business. She just poof magic, you no longer work Fridays, but that's not realistic. That work still needed to be done and those commitments were still on her schedule. And yes, we all own our schedule. She could have just canceled every meeting and decided she was just going to stop doing a lot of things. But at what expense, right? At the impact to existing client commitments, at the impact to her own feeling of commitment and value and knowing that she said she was going to do something and then backing out of it or that feeling of stress of now what? So not only did she not do that, and then she felt really bad because she was excited and elated for a moment, and then she realized it wasn't possible. And so then she felt discouraged and defeated. 
But then she felt like she was disappointing her coach. And of course, her coach is giving her a hard time and saying, I thought you said you weren't going to work Fridays. Are you really committed? Are you really serious? And I think that people do their clients such a disservice when they do that. I love the idea of pushing someone's boundaries and helping someone realize that something is more possible than they may think it is. But I also think we need to be realistic. If you want to take Fridays off, amazing. Let's help you take Fridays off. If you want to protect your mornings and work on your business and stop doing client calls, amazing. Let's do that. And I did that with this client, right? I've done this in my own schedule. I've helped many clients through this. But The reality is it doesn't happen by magic. It doesn't happen by declaring it. It doesn't happen by stating it out loud and all of a sudden it magically happens. You have to actually create a plan and you have to create the space for the transition to be able to do that. So if you right now look at your work week and maybe you already take Fridays off, maybe you're like Fridays off. I don't take any days off, right? When you look at your schedule, whatever your schedule is like, let's say you want to reduce it by one full day, by eight hours worth of work. How could you do that? What would you need to be able to let go of? What would you need to say no to? What would you need to delegate? What would you need to systematize or automate? How could you get back eight hours in your week so that you could reduce your work by a solid day? It's absolutely possible, even when we are at our most overworked, even when we are at our most overwhelmed and overcommitted, there is always time in our schedule. We're just usually so busy and so stuck in the weeds of all the stuff that we're doing that it's so hard to take that pause and elevate ourselves above it enough to be able to recognize which things we don't actually need to do or which things maybe we're making harder or doing manually in a way that they could be simpler or automated or systematized. And so we need sometimes that outside perspective to be able to help us with it. Or if nothing else, we need to give ourselves the space to be able to do it. Maybe that looks like going and checking yourself into a hotel for a day, getting yourself out of your office, going somewhere lovely, maybe book yourself a spa service while you're there and just get yourself out of your environment and give yourself the space to actually think about what you really want. Think about and reflect on, is everything I'm doing actually the most important things? Is everything I'm doing something that actually needs to be done by me? Where are you wasting? Where are you starting things, spending a lot of time on things that you're never finishing or implementing? So it ended up actually being wasted effort. Uh, Where do you have team members that maybe aren't taking the ownership that you need them to? You're spending too much time managing their deliverables and constantly giving them feedback or correcting things that they're doing. How can you shift your team dynamic and up-level and empower your team more to be able to actually fully own things so things aren't so dependent on you? Or maybe you need to expand or even shift the team that you have, right? So Whatever you want, however much you want to work, whatever capacity you have or capacity you'd like to work within, whatever that rich, fulfilled life looks like for you that you want to build your business around, it is all possible. It is 100% possible, but it also takes some planning and it takes some intentionality. You do have to really look at how do I make this happen? And the first step is doing what my client did, which is getting clear on what you want. She wanted Fridays off and she wanted her mornings protected Monday through Thursday. Great. Get clear on what you want. Then look at what do I currently have? What am I currently committed to? What am I currently doing that's different from what I want? What's the delta, right? What do I need to do? And then you create a plan to make that transition. So with my client, what we did is the very first thing we looked at is how could we shift her schedule so that she had some blocks for client meetings in the afternoons? She had blocks for the other things that she does to grow her business, for business development, for podcasting, for the other things that she does to raise brand awareness and get herself out there. So we created these beautiful focus blocks in the afternoon. We blocked her entire calendar off in the mornings. We blocked her calendar off for any available time slot that was there on Fridays. And we went into her Calendly, which is what she uses for her appointments, and we changed it so nobody could overbook anything on her calendar at the times that she did not want to work. Now, for existing commitments, she went through them one by one and said, which of these do I want to keep exactly as is? And which of these do I feel like I could reach out to this person and say, hey, would you be okay with shifting this to Thursday instead of Friday? I'm trying to open up Fridays. 
really simple. And she was able to make that transition within, I think it was about six to eight weeks, fully transitioned, 100%, no longer working Fridays and fully protecting her mornings Monday through Thursdays. And so it wasn't that day. She didn't have where her coach said, this Friday, you're no longer doing any work with clients, right? You're taking Fridays off 100%. That wasn't realistic, but it didn't take very long to make the transition. Once she actually committed to it, created the plan and put the structure and the systems in place to support her to be able to do that. So with summer right around the corner, with fall coming right after summer and then the holidays, which it's hard to be thinking about right now when everything's spring and beautiful and everything, but the holidays are going to be here before we know it. And if you're a smart and savvy business owner, which I know you are, you're probably already thinking about Q4. I know I am. And so when you think to the second half of the year, when you think to the summer, there's going to be a lot of impacts to your schedule, right? Our schedule tends to be different over summer. It tends to be different over the holidays. So how are you going to set yourself up so that you can have the space that you need for what's most important to you outside your business so that you are leveraging the time that you are working in your business as well as possible so you're getting the absolute best possible results, both you and from your team? And how are you going to continue to drive revenue, achieve your goals, and continue to move your business forward even when you're in periods where maybe you want to be working less? And I know for some of my clients, when I work with them and we shift their schedule for summer, they think they're just doing it for summer, but then they realize, wait a minute, if I could do this for summer, maybe I don't ever have to go back to working Fridays. Maybe I don't ever have to work late into the evenings. And a lot of times what people put in place for summer ends up being what people keep in place going forward. And so if this is you and you'd like any support with it, I have two different options. I've been sharing with you about my Propel program. I'm so excited for that. It's actually kicking off really, really soon. So if you are interested, I invite you to head over to leanoutmethod.com slash Propel, get all the details and join us for Q3. We are going to get really clear on what your rich, fulfilled life looks like, what your next level vision looks like. And then we're going to create that plan to actually go ahead and give you the clarity and the focus that you need for or Q3 so that you can do what you want to do in the summer. You can take the space that you want in the summer and you can still be moving your business forward, achieving your goals, hitting those revenue targets, and just feel really good about where your business is at going into Q4 and going into the second half of the year. So I really would love to see you inside that program. If that is of interest to you, head over to leanoutmethod.com slash propel. But the other thing is maybe we need to work together one-on-one and go a little bit deeper and really unwind some messy stuff in your schedule. Maybe you're thinking, that sounds great and all. However, I don't know that I could ever take Fridays off. I don't know that I could ever block my mornings. You don't understand how much stuff I actually have that's going on right now, right? And if that's the case and you'd like to dive a little bit deeper and work one-on-one, it's been a while since I've had the space in my schedule to open up for VIP days but I actually have been opening up one to two per month. So there aren't many to choose from, but I do have some. So if that's of interest to you, you can head over to leanoutmethod.com slash VIP or just put some time on my calendar at leanoutmethod.com slash consult and let's chat and see if it might be a good fit to deep dive into your schedule so that you actually are working how much you want, when you want, on the things you want and still achieving all of your big, bold goals and bringing that beautiful, incredible vision that you have to life in the process. I hope you got a ton of value out of this episode. I will see you again next week. Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Lean Out Your Business podcast. I hope you got a lot of value and actionable insights from today's show and would love if you take a moment to leave us a review. If you have any questions on today's episode or on how to lean out your business, join us over in our private Facebook community where every week we do live training and Q&A and I'd love to have you be part of the conversation. Head to leanoutmethod.com slash group to join us. And before you go, be sure to subscribe to the show so you're the first to know when we release a new episode. We'll see you next week.